Wipe the slate clean. Start not from scratch, but a polished, refined surface. Rethink the equation. Iron plus carbon equals steel until imagination takes hold. Pause. Rewrite the textbook. Consider the possibilities. Hold it in the palm of your hand or the mind's eye. Examine your destination and the best route possible to get there. Forward. Evolving. Advancing. Waiting to be realized. Sculpted. 20 years of research, design, and commitment carried us here. From raw steel in a dream to reality. A legacy built on steel. began as a mere idea in the back corner of McDonald's Steel in 1992, has since grown, evolved, and migrated to virtually every corner of the world. The logging industry has experienced a seed change. Specialized equipment and products specifically designed with logging in mind have turned from raw steel and an idea into an efficient, reliable, uncompromising reality. Providing unparalleled customer service and constant innovation, TigerCat continually strives for improvement, adapting and responding to the needs of the world's harvesting professionals through a committed team of employees and dealers. From a concept created among a few close partners to a company employing over 1,000 integral players, superior product quality coupled with ongoing innovation and new product development add new branches and new limbs daily to the Tiger Cat family. When we were doing the research to start Tiger Cat, one of the things I soon got to find is how much I like loggers. They're down to salt of the earth people. Uh, most of them you could do any business you want on handshake. Uh, they're just wonderful people. When Ken approached me with the idea of uh, building forestry equipment, uh, my thoughts went back to the uh, 20 years that uh, more than I spent with another company uh, that built uh, sophisticated tree harvesting machines. 
and uh, in that company I w had senior positions in engineering and marketing uh, and I well understood the uh, complexities uh, in designing and building uh, such uh, equipment. Uh, so it was, was, it was with a degree of trepidation. However, I uh, decided to uh, accept the challenge uh, uh, because I had a very strong interest in forestry equipment and uh, uh, so that's how it all started. And where it started was recognizing the need for an improved feller puncher. Changing the engine orientation, improving hydraulics, and reinforcing the center section, TigerCat introduced the new standard in forestry equipment. With no established distribution network in the coveted southern United States logging sector, the original TigerCat team members knew they would need to earn the confidence and respect of frontline operators and the logging industry in order to survive. This meant more than building a product that was in every respect superior to the competition, but to also stand behind that product, to exceed the expectations of those customers assuming the risk in purchasing a brand with no reputation beyond the sum of its parts. It became quickly apparent the industry was ready for a change in guard. TigerCat has put roots down in terrain and jurisdictions far beyond those first imagined. Exploring and venturing into the native forests of Sweden, equipping the contractors there with a machine capable of overcoming harsh physical conditions while meeting or exceeding strict environmental and economic considerations became a personal challenge for the TigerCat designers. With input from selective harvesting specialists like Bruno Kempe, the design team succeeded. The 1135 exhibits versatility and nimble and intuitive controls, helping to manage the forest, keeping it natural in aesthetics and sound in ecology while performing the job cost effectively. A specialized first thinning machine that delicately ghosts through the stands, its precision is near surgical, an exemplary model of Tiger Cat innovation. Home to some of the most biodiverse regions on the planet, South Africa supports a similarly diverse economy that strives to progress and preserve. For PG Bison, Tiger Cat was the natural choice. To conduct large-scale logging operations in a delicate and isolated environment requires true partnership. Being so remotely located on the Eastern Cape, skirting the Drakensberg Range, PG Bison not only needed a partner that could provide them with quality machinery, but one that could help them set up an infrastructure covering both training and maintenance. Tiger Cat provided the proper expertise to help get PG Bison's newly formed logging division off the ground. 
With strong cultural influences, PG Bison is faced with a revolving workforce. They need machinery that is robust and can handle the constant flow of novice operators. With the introduction of pine and eucalyptus plantations and the ecological sensitivities of the landscape, it was decided that cut-to-length harvesting would be the best practice to minimize environmental degradation and provide the required operational flexibility. Well, Tiger Cat has set itself apart from other suppliers in the sense, and the first thing that comes to mind is the personal touch of the company. So although the company is big, there's this personal touch. And then again, I think Tiger Cat, when we in the beginning had to evaluate who we are going to purchase these machines from, one of the biggest issues was training. And at that stage, I think we were one of the first companies that wanted to do things a bit differently. And they came up with certain solutions on how to assist us to train people even before the machines were here. Well, I think the single biggest factor of, of how the machines have benefited operation was that they've lent themselves very well in their design and makeup to the fact that we've been training for two and a half years of the four-year operation. And it's been an ongoing exercise where we've introduced new people continuously into the machines. And in doing that, you always open yourself up for uh, people needing to learn. And the machines have just totally outperformed any aspect or any uh, uh, view we might have had from them in the beginning. Storm-battered and mountainous, Vancouver Island represents a Canadian frontier in logging. Ancient rainforest interspersed among second-growth cut blocks, virtually impenetrable topography made all the more complex by massive rainfall, new fold rock, and a highly competitive market. Organization is key, and with 40 years of logging experience to bolster its efforts, Roga Contracting runs successful endeavors in coastal timber on Vancouver Island and the interior of British Columbia. Tiger Cat provides the competitive advantage that Roga needs on the island, in northern BC and beyond. I think the main difference that Tiger Cat has set itself apart with is that they've been very responsive to customers needs and customers desires on equipment so the accessibility that you gain with tire cat far exceeds any of the other companies ken mcdonald has come out to trade shows he comes and out onto your work sites if he's in the area you can call him if you want to like he's given us cards with his cell phone number and you know if there's anything you need just here give me a call We'll see what we can do, whereas you don't see that with any other company in the industry. When we introduced the shovel logger here, we were the first one to have it on the island. And we've been told by everybody up and down the coast that it isn't going to work. And now you've got people coming out to see what we're doing with it because it's outperforming the equipment that existed here. We can climb places safer than what we currently use. It's gonna end up being better on the operators because a lot of the ergonomics of being on a flat bottom machine when you're working on a 30% slope increase your chance of your operator injuring his back, injuring his shoulders. Whereas if you've got a flat, stable position to work from all day, 
you eliminate a lot of that. When we looked at buying the tire cats in Prince George, it was a combination of the power of the machine and how much volume we were going to be able to bring to roadside compared to the competition. It was a more powerful skitter. It was a little more costly, it burnt more fuel, but we thought the value was going to be there because the volume we were going to generate from the machine would be greater. And it's been successful. Uh, the 635D has been great because it's actually given us an increased ability to work on steeper slopes and softer ground than otherwise we'd be able to. It can climb anywhere where the feller bunchers can go, pick up wood, bring it down, go through a swamp, do whatever it takes without sinking. It just kind of gives us a better footprint. In the mid-90s, Tiger Cat spent a lot of time working on reliability of machines. What Tiger Cat did was try to take uh, those machines, uh, make them more durable, make them stronger, make them something people could make a living with. Tiger Cat's track feller bunchers have benefited Roga's operations, providing increased performance across the board. Deeply intertwined with the genesis and development of these machines, Tiger Cat engineers design with uptime, operator interface, long shifts, and the worst operating conditions in mind. The additional advantage of ER boom technology increases yields and efficiencies, while Tiger Cat's build quality adeptly overcomes whatever extremes the forests can throw at it. Here we are, back to where it all started, where a small company from Canada took a monumental step in a proving ground where initiative and great effort were ultimately validated. The Southern United States. One of the early proponents of Tiger Cat was the Lambert family, a family with generations of logging in their blood. A family that depends on reliable equipment to keep them in the woods, to keep their business profitable. We live off of Production, you got to haul the wood to make money. The less breakdowns, the better, and the more efficient things run, the better. And all that comes into play with Tiger Cat. The people that we worked with in those early days in the Southeast, and probably still today, were really instrumental in helping us get through the early pains and struggles that we had. You know, the customers would tell us what was wrong or what they needed and we listened and that communication really helped us move quickly in developing our product into what it is today.
Well, there's one thing I can say about Tiger Cat is they, um, they've brought us a long way and we believe in their equipment and I'd recommend anybody that if they want a good piece of equipment that's gonna last them a long time until they can get it paid for, you can buy a Tiger Cat because you can pay for it before it wears out. When the day is done, when the ground is covered and the harvest is tallied, it is time to replenish, regroup, recover and connect. Shake the lessons learned from muscle and steel and pause. To consider your surroundings, your purpose, longevity, reliability, commitment, service and trust maintaining a standard based on excellence, and planning for what will come next, tomorrow. We have made tremendous progress in the last 20 years. With the help of our dealers, all of the employees in our company, and the confidence that our customers have placed in Tiger Cat, it's difficult to imagine where we'll be 20 years from now.